Hi everyone, I'm Catherine. Today I'm unboxing the booster fan from Dremel as part of a pre-order um, promotion. They threw in the booster fan. This usually costs an extra $300 if you're buying the laser cutter right now. Uh, but I thought I'd unbox it and show you what it looks like uh, when you first get it. I'm excited to try this out so that I can run the laser cutter a little bit longer and it'll get rid of the fumes quite quickly. So it's a bit of a Russian nesting doll in here. So here's another box. And we've got another box. Uh, comes with additional tubing and the ties for it. And here is the booster pan itself. That is pretty awesome. Okay, I'm just gonna see what else is in here real quick. We've got mounting brackets. We've got the directions for it. And yeah, this is pretty big. Um, this will be really nice. So it's got both sides. Uh, what I'm going to end up doing is putting the duct that I already have that came with the laser cutter into one side and then this duct will go out the other side uh, to the outdoors and that's going to take out a lot more of the fumes uh, really quickly. So I'm going to attach this to my laser cutter next and then uh, show you how it works and we'll get it up and running. Actually I'm going to try plugging in here real quick and see how that goes. <laughs> Whoa. That is pretty powerful. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get that attached to my laser cutter and we'll see how it goes. We got the booster fan attached to the laser cutter. Um, we decided to mount it to the table itself. This is an IKEA table that we got for holding the laser cutter. And we put the fan underneath here because it protects it. Um, and it also allows it to have straight flow through for the uh, ducts. So my husband helped a little bit with figuring out exactly how to place it. In the directions it says to put it eight feet above the floor and, and things like that. But I think that's mostly just so that you don't run into it or um, somehow interact with it accidentally. This way it's underneath the table and it's protected so it's still having the same effect. So we have the duct coming out of the laser cutter. It goes down and straight into this side of the fan. You see it just wraps a little bit but it's uh, straight enough that it works well. Coming through the fan, it goes down and out, and I'm going to be adding additional holds underneath the table so that the duct is straight going in and out of the fan. And then it actually still just goes out of the same window setup for now. That way when we move my laser cutter into my studio space, we'll just move this whole table. We don't have to dismount anything from the walls in this room. Which is good. This is our guest bedroom and I don't want this stuff here permanently. So I'm going to go ahead and turn it on so you can hear how loud everything is together. So the laser cutter, the on button is still in the back. For the booster fan, it is when you plug it in, it turns on. So we put it on a power strip and that way I can just go over here and turn it on before I uh, start laser cutting. So I'll turn that on so you can hear it. So you can hear it spooling up, and that's about all of the sound that it's adding. So it's not adding a ton of sound to the laser cutter. The only additional sound you're going to hear when the laser cutter turns on is the uh, water cooling pump running and a little bit of the sound of the laser cutter running around. So that's really nice. 
The other thing that we have set up in here to help is a air purifier. So, that's as loud as this is going to get. It was just testing the pump. So with the air purifier, we have this in here so that we can make sure that there's not additional particulates in the air that's getting out. This is going to clean the rest of the air for us. So you can see here on our air purifier, uh, it's ranging in the low like 10s and 13s for the particulates. This is out of 150. So that's very low. And that means that it's doing a good job cleaning the air for us. So far, since having the booster fan set up, I did a little bit of laser cutting on wood. And I also did some leather. I found that leather was extremely stinky because it's burning leather to cut it. So the booster fan did a really great job of um, taking that extra air out and it wasn't nearly as smelly this time. So I'm really excited to have the booster fan up and running. Um, like I said earlier, that's a $300 add-on and if you're going to be using it in a sp smaller space, I highly recommend it. So that's it. This is my full laser cutting setup now. I've got the booster fan, I've got the window ventilation, and I'm excited to do a lot more laser cutting with it. So I'll be posting videos with my uh, new projects and make sure to come check them out. Thanks for watching.